What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be a spoiler free review for Cuckoo. Cuckoo is written and directed by Tillman Singer, starring Hunter Schaefer, Martin Kosokis, Jessica Henwick, and Dan Stevens. Now, after reluctantly moving to the German Alps with her father and his new family, Gretchen discovers that their new town hides sinister secrets as she's plagued by strange noises and frightening visions of a woman pursuing her. Cuckoo, I would say, is an atmospheric letdown. <laughs> it, it really is. It's an atmospheric letdown that relishes in being an incoherent mess. A promising first act is followed up with indecipherable exposition, goofy occurrences, and a squandered villain, and a third act that struggles to get the film back on the rails it went off of about 30 minutes prior. Singer is undeniably capable of building suspense and tension, but writing doesn't seem to be a strong suit. Dan Stevens and Hunter Schaefer are wonderful in their roles, but they cannot save this. Cuckoo being the biggest disappointment this summer wasn't on my bingo card, but here we are. Admittedly, it's a well-shot film, but trying to follow the story is equivalent to putting a puzzle together while someone is throwing the pieces away. Gretchen is a 17-year-old girl forced to live with her father, her stepmom Beth, and stepsister, who I think was named Alma. Gretchen lives or left America to stay in Germany at this resort, and she's going to regret this decision, of course. Her parents are supposed to be helping this resort manager build a new resort or something like that. As a character, Gretchen is likable, but when your story is reliant on these fractured relationships she has, you would expect Gretchen to have more depth, and she just doesn't. She's cold towards her stepmom, stepsister, and her dad treats her like the problematic child he can't escape, or at least can't wait to escape once she turns 18. These are the qualities that kept her likable, and a recent tragedy makes it easy to feel sympathetic towards her situation. Too bad Gretchen, our thin protagonist, is the only character with coherent motivations, and that's get the hell away from this resort. Singer's mystery element is intriguing at first until it becomes an unsolvable puzzle with motivations of every other character, thus becoming uninteresting because your puzzle is becoming less attractive the more it becomes incoherent. Granted, not everything is hard to follow. I understood that Cuckoo is trying to address men wanting to control women's bodies. A lot of the communication between how certain men are touching certain women makes that obvious. But when you exposition dump and your narrative still isn't clicking, we've made a mistake along the way while writing the screenplay. You're laying out the puzzle pieces, but aren't telling me that you threw some away before you wanted me to solve it. I'm the first to say audiences shouldn't be spoon, spoon fed, and I stand by that. Google doesn't hold our hand, well, at, at times it doesn't, and it shouldn't have to. However, you should concoct a vision audiences can piece together without pulling hairs, and Cuckoo doesn't do that. As a result of this, a villain like Mr. Koenig, our mastermind at this resort, falls flat and is uninteresting. Every character besides Gretchen is not worth investing in, and your ideas are just half-baked wastes of potential. In terms of scares, Cuckoo thrives in loud noises, the unknown, and a woman with goggles. That last one being ridiculous by the end because it sucks all the tension out of several sequences. I cannot stress enough how strong that first act is. Singer introduces us to this bizarre setting, a creep resort staff, and guests that behave oddly after 10 p.m. Toss in a few bizarre editing choices, and I was hooked. I was hooked. Cuckoo takes a nosedive after Gretchen's disturbing bike ride home, which was one of the most terrifying sequences in the film. Supporting characters grow more unlikable, the mystery is losing momentum, and we're just left scratching our heads by the end of it all. So like I said, I'm all for you putting a story together that welcomes and dares me to piece it together, but you have to do it in a way that also is attractive to follow. This is not. <laughs> then you start spoon feeding things that also help make it even more incoherent. So now it's just like, oh, okay, if you keep going, I don't want to really know anything else about anything. All I care about is Gretchen, and Gretchen herself isn't even that great of a protagonist. She's very thin. Schaefer and Stevens didn't disappoint in their roles. Like I mentioned, Cuckoo's screenplay just failed them and didn't deserve their efforts. Stevens is an effective creep that kept me invested even when the story was losing me. Schaefer's performance was also great. Singer just, I don't think, should be writing screenplays. If this is what you have to offer, I think you should just stick to direction because the direction here 
isn't bad. Like I said, the cinematography I thought was quite good. It's well shot. The camera work is also very impeccable at times, especially during that bike sequence. Singer keeps this sense of isolation alive and well early on through several static shots, especially the shots of Gretchen working night shifts alone while the score chimes in or the shots of the surrounding environment with the wind blowing all of that's done in an effective way to keep you feeling isolated and let you know something is not right with this resort uh, certain sequences you could argue when it came to the pacing do go on a little bit too long and stuff started to weigh on you as it was on your screen because it did have a few pacing issues here and there between certain sequences but all in all his direction wasn't the problem <laughs> it was the screenplay and i just couldn't believe this is what was behind what was otherwise a well-made and well-shot movie. The screenplay just bogged down so much of this screenplay. Or so the screenplay just bogged down so much of the overall experience and the overall product. I would give Cuckoo a solid 5.5 out of 10. Because again, it's not the worst thing I've ever watched. But your screenplay is just so incoherent so all over the place that i can't help but sit down and at least grade it on a 50 50 basis so at least if i rewatch it because i actually do want to rewatch it maybe there's more things i can appreciate about it that will lead to me bumping up the score but for now this was like the biggest disappointment of the summer so far i would give this movie a 5.5 out of 10 everything else with the film outside of the screenplay wasn't a complete dud i thought the performances for everyone were quite good not just hunter schaefer and uh stevens but everyone else was was finding their roles as well it's just again too bad that their characters were highly unlikable and with your screenplay becoming more and more hard to follow as the story progressed i just was turned off by anything that wasn't gretchen if it wasn't gretchen i didn't give a fuck and then you also went into what was going on and what the mystery it was happening at the center of it all and it was not very satisfying you know it doesn't it doesn't seem to live up to what was present in that first act so while i will say cuckoo isn't the worst thing out there it wasn't a home run by any means let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video